Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Thursday, the 18th of February, um, episode number 756, I believe. I've got to hold it together here. I've got a couple of announcements. Um, I hate these bits sometimes. Um, two complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, I'm going to start with uh, James Carrigan first. A few of you will know James from Lingfield, um, our little, little Scottish friend. Um, I've become quite close with James. He's a lovely lad, absolute top lad, good fun. Um, been on a few of the days, came to the racing on his birthday. Um, and unfortunately, um, James' father passed away from COVID on uh, uh, the day before yesterday on Wednesday. Oh no, yesterday, sorry, Thursday afternoon. Uh, what is it today, Thursday? Yeah, no, sorry, Wednesday afternoon. Um, I know a few of you know James and, and he's well liked in the FTS community. I'm sure you will join me in passing on our FTS bet slip commiserations, James. Um, and, uh, you know, we're here if you you need us and um, give us a shout. Um I mean, I'm, I can't turn, can't do anything other than turn these into my normal banter. But um, with Celtic, son, you're having a terrible year. Um, but he'll appreciate that. He's um, top, top lad, Jimmy. And thinking of you, mate. Hope life um, picks up. This is really sort of hit home the last. I didn't know anybody, and as I said before a few weeks ago, didn't know anybody who passed away in the first lockdown. And um, getting something almost weekly now. It's uh, tra- terrible times um but then on the flip side of that um and i'm doing this despite the fact that he's a flipping scouser so this is how much you lot mean to me um steve mander it's his wife ruby's 46th birthday and ruby is an icu nurse so she is the sort of right on the the front end of this um in steve's own words one of the last faces patients see when they pass away from codiv uh, covid um ruby you do an amazing job um i don't think whilst people get out and make gratuitous claps and things i don't think anybody really knows unless you're living it um what you guys are going through and how much work you're putting in um and like you say for those of us who do things like trade football at home and get the arse ache when a penalty is missed um it's bears into absolutely nothingness compared to what you're doing so um i don't know whether you're working or not today but have a fantastic 46th birthday um on behalf of i know it's only sort of a small amount of us but thank you ever so much on behalf of all us for everything you're doing um hope there's some light at the end of the tunnel for you guys um soon but enjoy your birthday make sure steve looks after you and and just have a word with him just at night when you you get in bed just roll over and say steve time to stop this liverpool nonsense that's all you got to do i think ruby you are the one who can do it much you've even got a name named after red he's gone and sought that out hasn't it i bet i bet he's gone around the pub meeting people like ruby in his early days and looking for one who's got a name that is red that's it or did he make you change your name to ruby when he married you you say oh we got to have a name that's linked to red despicable steve bin it son come over to the old spurs it's much more fun we enjoy ourselves um right so that's that bit out the way um jimmy as i say give us a call if you need us son um horrible i know exactly what you're going through it's horrible um Right, that's that done. See, who thought I'd be doing that when I started this podcast? All sorts. Um, Right, obviously I've done some second half goal figures. I knew the question was coming. What about the first half? Um, So I've done that for you this morning, just because I can't help myself. Well, I can. I could say sod it, but I'm not like that. Um, Obviously, we know that there's, there's... Less first half goals. Traditionally, second half goals, there's a goal uh, about 80% of the time. Uh, First half goals, there's a goal about um, 70% of the time. And you get that's reflected in the price. So, for example, you will see on average, and I'm just being bare average, obviously varies league to league, game to game. 20 minutes to go in a full-time game, you know, laying the score at 70 minutes. You're going to see a price average somewhere around about 1.6 1.7 obviously 20 minutes to go in the first half you're going to get a much bigger price than that it'll nearly always be over two Um, 
2.2, 2.18, 2.16, around that sort of mark on 25 minutes. So you're getting a, a nice bang for your buck for that less than 10% um, difference in the two goals. Have we seen a change owing to COVID and things? Um, the bottom line is at the minute, overall, no. Um, my whole database... 30,000 games from since 2017 uh, is sitting at 69.71% for a first half goal. In 17-18, it was 70.4%. In 1819, it was 60.68.93%. In 19-20, it was 70.02%. And this year it's 69.44, so almost pretty much bang on the database average this year, 0.27 under. Um, first half goals are running at the same time. Um, there's actually been a few more early first half goals this year, so um, teams starting better. Um, but again, that'll pan out over time. Doesn't suit me at times because I obviously wait. Um, you know how I bet now I wait so quite often I'm seeing a list of games and not actually having any bets because goals go in early uh, and it can be frustrating the way I bet I get that for some people you might have eight games and six have an early goal and then the two that get to 25 minutes are the two that go on and don't have a goal so you sort of sit there and that again comes down to where discipline and just sitting and and waiting for your opportunities to come. Um, I've had, I mean, amazing. I sort of bobbled up and down, bobbled up and down. I was having a good spell. Certainly been caught out a little bit in the second half goals with the drop off. Um, but I've had just a fantastic few days. I won a good few quid again in Brazil overnight. Um, I've had a just amazing. You know, you do just sit and wait, and and times you think you're being beaten up. And I've had periods like that or ever since I've been doing this um, but patience pays off but yeah the, the first half goal numbers are pretty much bang on I mean it just shows you how predictable you know I say football's predictable everybody's telling you it can't be done can't do this um, when you start to understand numbers and things it makes it a little bit easier and you can as I say you can you can spot things easily um, and then react slightly to them and the, the difficult thing with things like that somebody you know me about the nil two would you been the nil two um no i i know it's happening but i know it's going to come back and what you want to do is make sure you're there when it does come back because these numbers as you see there you know you've got you've got thirty thousand games there broken down into seasons if you like because that's what we like and it hasn't varied by more than one it's not even 1.5 percent year on year has it has that number changed um you know 70.4 the highest 68.93 the lowest and it just runs and it'll you know the next 10 years it'll be 70 percent 70 percent 70 percent 70 percent um it's amazing how it happens um right so that's that uh, there's no football today so i'm catching up with a bit of admin um got a few bits at home as well i need to to take care of um and um yeah and then we're into it again back again ultimate tomorrow we've got the old europa league the main main trophy tottenham tottenham what they 1.39 1.4 away having a laugh aren't you you're having an absolute laugh it'll be let me give you the prediction of the game he won't start with kane and son and the like he'll be bringing them on to try and get us out of trouble sometime through the either half time or the second half um, we'll probably start with the likes of Bale and Ali and this that and the other and nothing will happen and then they'll have to turn to Harry to get us out of trouble um, uh, that's it I didn't watch any of the Champions League stuff I don't even know what happened uh, I know people were, were my phone was going red hot about Pochettino um, whatever night that was um, and Paris um, I think when you got Mbappe, I don't think that's down to Pochettino. I couldn't even tell you what happened yesterday. I have no idea who played and who did what. Um, I, I've sort of dropped out of the Tuesday and Wednesday football, I'll be honest. Um, more Thursday nights for me these days. Um, right, so Ruby, have a lovely birthday. Uh, James, commiserations. Everybody else, first half goal, 70%, no real drop-off. Um, enjoy your day, and I will be back with you tomorrow 
Um, after I've done Ultimate for the weekend, I've got to preview the old carpet taking. They're going to stuff us. That's the preview. They're going to stuff us. We're in sad old days when West Ham are going to give the old spuds a right old pasting. I can't even remember the last time we went down there as underdogs. I mean, that's how far. How far have we fallen? In um, I think West Ham were about three to one last year, and they're going in what five to four, six to four favourites now. That's how. That's it. Oh, I'm a distraught man. I'm a distraught. I'm a broken individual. The Spurs are finally. Somebody asked me about. I don't know if I said this the other day. Someone asked me about. It. They said I seem to be taking it more personal. There's not much else going on in life, is there? So you think, oh, I will sit down and watch Spurs, give me a bit of cheer, and uh, they're shit. Right. Enjoy. That's why I love it because you lot can't take the Mickey out of me. Somebody said, yeah, I can't take the Mickey out of me because nobody slags them off more than I do. We're garbage. Right. Have a lovely um, Thursday. I just waffled and I thought I just keep going on and on. I just keep finding something else to say. Shut up, Ian. Just shut it and say goodbye. Goodbye. Ruby, have a happy birthday. Thoroughly enjoy your day. Steve, look after her. I'll be back with you tomorrow morning. <laughs>